I want to show some drawings. I got this suitcase. I've um, I've used this stuff like in zines, some like stories and things like that, and drawings and zines. I like gathering inspiration from everywhere, you know, and. I like to collect, I'm a collector, so I like to, I like to grab a, like, a little scrap of something. And I like to go back and look at moments through my past. I think a lot of times inspiration comes from the littlest, most, like maybe really insignificant like, moment, or you might think it's insignificant at the time, and you know, it could be like a note that you write down, or a little drawing or something. I think everything you do on a daily basis is kind of like building blocks for ideas of everything you're about to do. I've been shooting skating since 1985. I'm originally from San Francisco. I would just skate, be skateboarding all the time and then, then when me and my friends would go skating, I would have a camera and I would shoot photos of, of my friends skateboarding. But I always like to take photos of my friends too and just photos of everything and trying to capture moments. And I think that's why I, like, I continue to do it. Like when I was 16, I shot a sequence of this guy, Mike Alcantara doing a front side wall right over a couch and Bryce Knights and Mickey Reyes were sitting in the couch and, and I sold them for a venture ad and I got a hundred bucks and I'm like, oh my God, you can make money doing photography. So that was that moment where I was like, I'm gonna be a photographer. You know, I thought I want, might wanna do fashion or stuff like that and you know, and then began and then really kind of decided like, I wanna do, I wanna document. I wanna like document my life and my friends to show kind of a personal side of skateboarding that people don't get to see. Just try to shoot all the time, just try to have my camera all the time. I grew up shooting with like Nikon, FM2s and F3s and F5s and things like that. But I've hung, hung on to the Leica because like I've, I've actually shot a few skate ads with this and this is my favorite camera to shoot them with. My favorite kind of photography has always been candid and less uh, produced kind of situations. So whatever I'm shooting, I, I like to make it look very real um, and convincing. And I think, I don't really think about style. You know, I think individual style and in fo photography and film kind of just comes through. The person and how they interpret the world. Here's one of my favorite photos. I always like to have kind of a slightly lower shutter speed to give some motion in the photo. It feels like you're more of a part of the photo. Capturing an amazing photograph, for me, has aesthetic and composition to compose the photograph in a way that you know you're gonna tell a great story and make the photograph you're taking exciting to look at. So the, the challenge with a still photograph is choosing the exact moment to take your still photograph that can tell the whole story. And sometimes you can get that and sometimes you can't. You know, you just can't tell that story in a still photograph. That's why I like started to do film and video because you could do so many different things with it. I got into filmmaking in like nine, 1995. I started to shoot film of skating for the skate magazines that I was shooting for, like Transworld Skateboarding, and then Big Brother, and then other skate videos. I did um, the first stereo video. It's called A Visual Sound. And it was Jason Lee and Chris Bastrus's company. That was my first skate video. Shot it all in high eight and whatever, and some super eight too. Uh, it took like nine months or something. It was exciting to do something new, and it's it's a fun combination. It's like if you like listening to music and you like shooting photos or video, it's like it's a great marriage between those two things, and you, know, you can enjoy both at the same time, basically.
I think you're always constantly trying to get better at what you do and figure out what you want to do and try to progress what you do. So when Antihero first started, it was me and Julian Stranger. And I did all the visual, I did all the photos and all the video. And so I did a, a video for them called Fucktards. And we shot it on um, Hi8, uh, Super 8, and, uh, and Pixel Vision. Uh, being a photographer and going on a photo shoot with someone, you're bound to miss something, you're bound to miss like moments and opportunities, but you have to anticipate what's gonna happen before it happens. And maybe there's never the right moment. Maybe you're shooting photos and you just don't get a good photo. But a lot about having your own style to your photographs is figuring out what is the right moment for you. Not, not what everyone else likes, but what do you like? and just being ready for that moment, and then, then when you see it, like acting on it. If I feel like I have a good photograph, it's because it makes me feel a certain way. And it has to do with the moment that I shot the photo, and it has less to do with technical perfection. I could shoot a photo with a point-and-shoot camera, and it could give me the same feeling as far as like capturing a great moment if I do that, than you know, if I used a better camera or something like that. The most important parts about taking a great photograph to me are what comes through in the photo. 